YouTube. This is KG Cichlids with 10 tips and facts about the Frontoza. Number one, a 75 gallon is going to have to be minimum for a Frontoza grow out tank. Later on, you'll have to upgrade. Number two, six to eight is the minimum number to have to reduce aggression between your frontosas. So that's a good start. Anything less, they'll uh, end up singling each other out and uh, they'll uh, either do a lot of damage or kill each other. So uh, you want to make sure that you start off with a good number. Number three, frontosa require less flow rate. If you have a power head like this one, it's best aimed towards the surface. Since waste isn't brought up as much as it would be with power heads aimed at the gravel, you'll have to do more gravel vacuuming. So keep that in mind. Number four, these guys are an ambush predator which means they lie in wait for their prey to pass by and then they attack them and kill them by nature. Yep. Number five, they require a high protein diet. Now that doesn't mean that you can't feed any other pellets that have a good uh, veggie content to it, but uh, for the most part they like a high protein diet. Um, you can feed them blood worms, shrimp, mice of shrimp or um, krill, freeze dried if you like, but uh, for the most part it's all high protein. Um, They'll go crazy over an algae wafer though, you know. So keep that in mind. Number six, these guys are a lot calmer than most African cichlids. For the most part. <laughs> um, they don't constantly swim. They like to conserve their energy. Um, until it's feeding time, then it's then it's game time. Um, but yeah, one of the calmest cichlids that that you can have is a uh, frontosa. One fact that I found out after keeping uh, frontosa for a while is that they will turn dark when stressed. much like this guy but he's turning uh, he goes bright to dark every once in a while but uh, they will show more color when they're content and or challenging uh, a position in the pecking order number eight frontosa are widespread throughout the northern half of Lake Tanganyika. The closely related Gibberosa and more sought after lives in the southern half of the lake. The natives consider these fish a delicacy. So yum yum. I don't know if I'd eat it. Not much of a fish eater but uh, I like fish tacos. Number nine. All right, guys. So these guys are best kept in a 150 gallon tank. You can house up to six to eight in a 150. Comfortably. So keep that in mind that you'll have to have a big tank. This one's only a 135, so 
you can see that I am uh, actually kind of overstocked, but I plan on getting a 240 or 300 pretty soon here. And number 10. These guys grow very slowly. So uh, keep in mind that you'll be waiting a while for them to get this size. This guy's about just over two years old. So keep in mind that it'll take uh, about four or three to four years for them to start breeding. So, uh, yeah, takes a little while. And there are different variants. So in this tank I have mostly Burundi. And that one is a Zaire. He's on the southern half of the lake. Zambia is from what I uh, remember about this guy here. He was giving me the side eye. Look at that. What are you looking at? He's always uh, traveling towards the top of the tank, though. Very cool fish. And they do just fine with these loaches. They've uh, most of these guys in here grew up with them, so. I think I've said that before. But I guess that's it. And uh, don't forget to check out Ricky Kennerly's Cichlids. He's got a lot more info on Frontosa than I do. So uh, also you can always ask uh, the inquisitive fish guy about Frontosas because he's had them before also. And um, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. You have a great night. Don't forget to leave a, a like. And I'll see you later.